evens the score at two. A rebounding an issue at times for both of them. Norfleet wants to push one more time. And again, with the way they're calling games this year and with the points of emphasis. Rashford never quite had a grasp. Out there for Gray. Norfleet has it. Miller for the base. And the way they play in considering the schedule that Loyola's had this week. Norfleet. Duplicate what they're able to do here. Norfleet drives to the basket and Laster ended up being a little impatient defensively. You can be impatient. Double team created bad pass. Norfleet takes advantage of it. He sees the opening. Push the ball up. Getting down the floor. Turnover again. Seven turnovers the last eight possessions. Norfleet makes him pay one more. Norfleet. Miller on the baseline. Norfleet will try it from deep. Yes. Go by nine. And the mouth has burned up a lot of clock on offense. Here they have Coast to coast, score the goal. Miller is a good shooter. You want to find him if you are Penn State knocked down five triples earlier this year. At any time, and if Taylor, you've been able to get to the rim and complete, why go away from that? Tough shot by North. Really nice job by Norfleet of forcing Penn State to rotate and break down defensively. And a year ago, 18 and 14. Inside Norfleet finishes with his violation, but a nice job by Norfleet. Good use of the hesitation drill to get Penn State out of their stance. And this young man has been very, very impressive thus far. Travis misses inside. Still like it. If you're Donovan Jack, you have to post up the greater sense of urgency. Norfleet the lead. Wide open is Gray. Throw in by Mount St. Mary's. The put it down or cannot run with ball. Norfleet. Got it! Down the stretch, be it for Newville or Frazier. And the last time down here, you can get going three as well. Again, the shot clock winding down. Down to seven. Norfleet gets the side. Oh! Norfleet spins inside. It's oh my goodness. The bleeper Mount St. Mary's on the year. And they get the ball back in case the tire take the lead. The Mountaineers have been outstanding here today. Oh, score the goal and the foul. North. Which is out of his comfort zone. And he made a turnover. Will Miller is in the game for the Mount. That's him. Three on the way. Watch ball. Our young viewers don't know who the heck that is, but Nate, Tiny Archibald could do it all. Like Kenny Ortiz. Here's Julian, able to probe the... Right ...here at Not Arena. And when you're Mount St. Mary's and you play four guards, you run a lot of ball screens, exactly what these guys do. And one! Julian Norfleet. Nothing run to take their largest lead. M dunk. The Jersey City native with four, both of them dunks. Norfleet. Ortiz gets by his man, but recovery by Norfleet to block it. Norfleet, coast to coast. Have to make an interior pass, it should be a bounce pass, and that's why the ball was deflected. Miller left open. For three! And they have dominated the series here as well at Not Arena. Will Miller. Mario Moody is a dunking machine. He has eight. Norfleet. What a move. His three is good. Norfleet has really impressed. Look at that move. How did he see him? He steps back and he knocks it in. Doing it all. And one of the better scoring teams in the league. When you have when you have stars in the team like Alex Francis, Deami Starks, and they got a couple underrated guys. I love Corey Maynard running the point. He's a guy who for Norfleet. What look at Norfleet, double pump and under control. You know what? He is so good, he makes these tough shots look easy. Great body committee. About seven minutes gone by here in the second half at the mount. Norfleet putting on an exhibition. Wow! So you see Taylor Danaher out there setting screens. Here's the spin. 
And there's the finish. Taylor Danahan's a five-man who can shoot the three, so that lane is wide open. To Ryan's point from a moment ago, kind of their largest lead, 78 to 58. I don't think I've seen a better guard in this level that can shoot off his left leg or his right. It's the three. Gregory Graves has really been coming on as a rebounder for the mount. Norfleet again. Now he's throwing hook shots. I'll tell you something. We talked about him off the... Yeah, no. Danaher. Here's Norfleet. Four on one. Norfleet in the open court. Danaher and one. Here's Miller. Norfleet to Ash. See, good players make themselves better. Great players make others better. Just like that pass. Now give Ash credit. He Ash to Miller. Now Norfleet for three. Good. When in doubt, give it to your leader. Your leader. <laughs> Norfleet, alley -oop. Mount St. Mary's with four more rebounds. They have four more threes. Norfleet hits. Julian Norfleet, nine points. This is what I'm talking about. All right, here's, here's the replay. Here's Norfleet. He rejects the ball screen. Now, this is the poise of a veteran. But Wack grabs the rebound. You mentioned Abdel Latif is back in there after the injury. Norfleet hits it. Julian Norfleet. Both of these teams like to shoot threes, Paul, so I got a feeling that we're going to need our seatbelts here tonight because it's going to be fast break basketball. There for that 6th, 7th, 8th spot, they'd like to creep up. A win over the mount helps them get closer to the 4th spot. And the mount has lost two, and quickly the mount will push it the other way. Oh, there's an NBA three by Northfleet. He's got five. Well, the lefty's about 36% on the season, so he's somebody who's got to... Northfleet, you've got to guard Northfleet, no doubt about it. That lefty can knock down the three. Got to get up and put a hand up. 25 seconds of the second half. Remember, the Mountaineers are only 3-12 and 12 on the road at seven of his 10 points tonight in the first half. He averages 18 points a game, fourth in the NEC. Tries to create here and does. And he does. And he. Well, Northfleet, so important. But you see, that right hand kind of creates a little separation. Gets to shoot. Northfleet against McMillan. Drives to the backboard and drops it in. He's got four. Go to the basket. See if I can get out. Northfleet does a great job here. See, Peel lays back, lays back. He should have gone out and challenged him. He let Moody on the interior has been a big reason for the surge of the surge of Wagner late in the season. Ballahan averaging only four points a game. Northfleet. The scoring ability of the bigs. Parker averaging seven points per ball game. A senior out of Orlando, Florida. Ortiz, Parker, and Rivers for the Seahawks. Ten seconds to shoot. Northfleet for Denaher. Play by Julian Northfleet. He's attacking right now. You don't want to go above Fullahan. You want to go down below. What a beautiful pass. Great read. You got to... Northfleet playing with three fouls. Zone in this possession. See if the whack can get a look. Got a lot of three-point shooters. Northfleet pulls up, fades away, and knocks it down. That is his fourth basket for eight. And has six, and it's a four-point ball game. Northfleet answers for Graves. Oh, unbelievable. Then the good answer on the other end is Greg Graves. A huge player down the stretch for Mount. His ability to shoot, control the action, make different plays will be of incredible importance. As he... Northfleet for Prescott around Northfleet, and that is rejected by Graves. Good minutes off the bench by Graves. Northfleet goes to the blue. Northfleet may have been partially. Ortiz goes down, and then we have Northfleet again, and he has been dominant in this game also, making plays a lot of fun. And doing Northfleet. Black thought about the three. Northfleet. 
Zone defense, kind of a breakdown, but Julian Norfleet can make something out of nothing he has all game when he's been on the floor. Remember, he had three fouls in the first half, so he's had to been cautious on the defensive end, but offensively he is in the NEC semifinals. Norfleet, oh, what a nice dish for Graves. Game, and then the answer on the other end is Norfleet drops it off, and Graves gets his 12th point. Going down the stretch. Per game for Mount St. Mary's. So far, the two three zones been preventing long jumpers. St. Mary's on the run right to the rim and laying it up. Long range three. So far. 11 minutes, it's been up 26. Northfleet again. And as we go inside the play, Mike. We see right here against his own defense, Rashad whacked a little pump fake, and we see Apollon has to help here, and then we have three defenders out of position. That allows the drive, the kick, too long of a recovery for Apollon to get to Norfleet. Now the Mount has to really adjust their offense, go back to their ball screening offense, look to drop. Nice to be ambidextrous. Yeah, Julian Norfleet, who's only been playing point guard for the last season and a half, got moved to the PG spot. As Lucky Jones is looking where the screen is, the crossover. Summer to have an all-around game by studying tape on Stephon Curry. He knew he had to handle the ball better, and he knew he had to distribute better. And North he Lee, the lefty knocks it down. Puck had an opportunity, but missed it point blank range. They clear the way for Northley. Ask it as Julian Northley goes strong to the hole. Now, at the end of the first half, you Albany switched from the man-to-man -to, -man to the zone because they had such a tough time guarding him in the man-to-man. -man. They had time problems guarding the screen. No screen that time. Northley just puts it down. We talked about his... ...in the first half. Looking for one of the largest comebacks in the history of the first four as Northley goes to the back. ...going to be reversed. It was touched. Now, here's Northley driving the ball to the back. Shoots him at seven. It's over! Seahawks on the Seahawks home floor, 77 to 72, and they four-hour ride away, and the Mountaineers have taken their. Four. This guy, this player, is going to draw some attention from pro scouts.